Right, this is a little bit of an unusual situation here. I, I wasn't even sure I was going to do a video on this, but it turned out so well I decided to do it. Uh, this is just a can crusher. I, I, everybody's seen them. Uh, the difference I think maybe that I haven't seen anyway is that the way I did this. Now this is the third time I've had to redo my can crusher because it's, it wears out so quickly. And the reason being that it was always just bolts riding on a wooden hole. So every time you'd, you'd actuate it, well, you'd, you uh, would introduce that wear every time it was starting to get loose again on me. And then these bolts here would not stay in place anymore. So I decided to go down and rework it again. And this time, uh, I think this version is going to last uh, me forever. It's... Uh, it's, I just can't see how it's ever going to wear out. And here's the difference. I'm using bronze bushings at these wear points instead of, uh, you know, bolts riding on wood. So you got that sleeve in there, and that's, that's your pivot point, and that's what uh, I think is going to make it last forever. So the other uh, thing that this does for me is that these bushings, two one-inch bushings here, give me the offset I need to keep this uh, piece centered. And I'll show you how I accomplish that here in a second, but uh, let me hide this right now and show you. So you can see this green box here. I'll zoom in on that. This green box represents that part. And these bushings are inset into this into this one on top by three-eighths of an inch and then there's a quarter inch through hole going all the way through uh, that piece but um, it just it just works beautifully now that I've, I've done what I what I did here so uh, let me bring this back into play here so you've got three-eighths bolts uh, the top piece has got three-eighths bushings 3 8 ID bushings, half inch OD. Everything, every, all these other bushings you see are, are quarter inch ID and half in, uh, 3 8 OD. So I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of those. And uh, let me hide this piece to show you what's going on there. So you can see here I got a quarter inch carriage bolt. And then this this bushing is is uh, you know I think it's about a quarter of an inch into the arm here, and the rest of it is into the into this body block I call it. Same thing down here. Most of the bushing is in the arm uh, or the blo the body itself here. I'm sorry, and about a quarter of an inch into this block. All right. So I've got it all spelled out in a set of plans. Um, bring this back in here. If you're interested, I've got to just drop me a note. I've got a free set of plans that I'll send you uh, in PDF format. And I think that um, if you decide to make this, this is the way to go. Yeah, it costs a little more money, but for me in the long run, if I'd have done it this way the first time, I'd have been money ahead. So uh, there you go. Then if you want to stick with it, I'll show you what a uh, little video I did shoot of me tearing this apart and putting it back together. But uh, if you're if you uh, if you want to just go ahead and, and uh, make this and you know want the plans, send me a note. I'll send them to you. Otherwise, I'll. Uh, I'll show you the, the other videos I have of the, of the process I went through here. The one thing I didn't make is this wooden handle. I used the old rubber handle I had before, but that's easy enough. You'll understand that. So, uh, if you want to continue, that's great. If you don't, thanks for watching. See ya.